hello my dear friends welcome to a new video from Mad Max deals and reviews when i came home from a bunker project today i found this on the porch neil from neil's gadgets sent me a fw3c which is the copper version of the fw3a for aluminium and copper is a really nice material to make a flashlight of not only it looks great uh, it has lots of mass and some nice thermal properties which make it good and over the time they go from shiny to a lot of patina so they grow some character by themselves so you have to like that and then you will love it or not that's up to you so let's look inside Lumintop has the standard box box with the sleeve when you open that the first thing you find is this which you should really take care of in regular use open on the head and put the uh, battery from the front that's important please then there is a user manual which is big it's really big and it has two sides but it only has two languages that's just German and English it's uh, the FW3 series are powered by Endurial so this is how you operate it or how you can operate it you do not need to you can just click on click off hold for change the brightness done that's really as simple as it could be and there is much much more which you have already seen in other videos or my other videos and there is this beauty sealed in a bag so you see i haven't even opened it is the fw3c and neil added the standard o-rings and um, plastic ring a rubber ring which can be used for a cigar grip let's try to show that oops o-ring o-ring and this cigar grip ring so i will mount that later and neil sent me to try them out his turbo glow gaskets i got the gasket and he put two buttons in there. there here they are that's a blue gasket a blue button and a red button we will see and try and i will show you how to exchange that haven't e tried before so put that aside and this one well clean your fingers and then rip it open oh my god wow <sighs> so much wow that's a beauty uh, I see a, a, a change they changed the clip the clip is now silver and not black which I like a lot really shiny nice and already fingertip fingerprint on there so i will try to put some pictures meanwhile in here so let's let's mod it modify it so some people uh, also ordered these glow gaskets and a lot of you asked me how to change it and to show that i tried to uh, change the camera setting so you can have a better view good i hope this angle works for you let's mount the gasket it's easy just unscrew the, the beetle be careful that the lens does not fall out then you have there the optics you can try with your fingernails to pop it out 
if that's you see it's working easily you can also have some pointy things so be careful not to scratch i recommend that you go into the area where these feet are so that you do not rinse anything and these optics will possibly stick a little bit into the flashlight because here on the tiny feet there is some uh, thermal paste and that will stick in there so having the optic in the hand there is only one way where it could, can go correctly that you can mount the gasket looks like this and then it goes easily back the same way it came out just be sure that the feet go into the holes and if you push it back have a quick look if the LEDs look the same underneath the optic screw the bezel back on and here it is if my camera would yeah here nice blue glow cool thing next we change the button from turbo glow and i will show you on my fw3a um, remember to open the tail cap point the flashlight upwards open it that way so that you have the tail cap like a cup in your hand then hold it on the spring side maybe give it a small push here so this package come out and then just for your curiosity here on this black rubber there is a small piece of a hard plastic which is used to click the button here so that needs to be in place and must not be loosed um, mount it back again use the turbo glow plastic button put it in place drop the rubber in place drop the spring in place then maybe push a little bit with the with the finger you hear it already clicks and works nicely then come with the flashlight from above so nothing gets loose or dislocated and here it already works and to look at the button you need to illuminate a little bit then you have this really nice red glow so i hope you have seen how that works thanks for watching leave me a subscribe or a like help me a little bit bye bye